last release in the Rainbow High Rainbow Vision series, and that is the Royal Three. This singing group includes Minnie Choi, Sierra Song, and Tessa Bach. Those were my pretty mediocre attempts at pronouncing those last names correctly. All these dolls are marked as music focus at Rainbow High, but I don't believe they're actually Rainbow High students in the series. Like the other releases in the Rainbow Vision series of dolls, they do come with a second outfit, but instead of a musical instrument, they have a headset microphone, a fan t-shirt, and what looks like a little magazine. Here they all are out of the packaging and they are so pretty. I love their face molds. They're not all exactly the same, but I love their eye shape. Just really, really pretty dolls. They of course all come with the color coordinated doll stands and matching combs. Now let's take a closer look at each doll individually. We will start with Tessa. All of these dolls are K-pop inspired. I really love the concept and their overall aesthetic. Tessa's hair is actually not bad coming out of the packaging. Sometimes the bangs that they put on these Rainbow High dolls can be really jacked up, but hers aren't bad. Uh, she has these two little longer pieces in the front that are heavily gelled, and then this long side ponytail. Her hair, I don't know, it's like an icy lavender color. It's really pretty. Of course, she has complimentary eyeshadow, a little bit of glitter details, really pretty eye color. She is not wearing earrings. None of these dolls are, which I really hate it when they have these giant ear piercing holes and no <laughs> earrings to fill them. But of course, she is wearing a microphone headset. Uh, so it's all one piece here. We've got a headband with the microphone attached and it wraps around her one ear. So I get why there isn't earrings, it just still bothers me that she's got this big visible ear piercing. Uh, her outfit, I love it. She's got this awesome jacket. Look at the detail on the back. It says Team Rainbow, this beautiful kind of Pegasus unicorn. She's got patches in what I assume is Korean, as well as English, RH, rainbow, this little R symbol that looks like the champion logo. Then we've got some more writing, 22. On the other side, we've got a little like kind of NASCAR detail going on. MGA, magic, and then rainbow across the front. We've got faux zipper detail, faux pocket detail, just a really super detailed piece of clothing. Underneath that, she has this white pleather kind of halter top that, that actually goes around her neck. And then this really cool silver necklace over that. And then her pants are awesome. This asymmetrical leg, one side is shorts, one side is long. Rainbow is written down one leg. Uh, again, it's like a pleather material with this really cool belt. She has one knee length sock. And then she's wearing, I really like these sneakers. They're like simple, but so cool looking. And they have this metallic shimmery color on the tread. Other details include that she has unique hand sculpts. She has short nails with very detailed paint. And then this unique hand sculpt of multiple rings on each hand. Again, love that detail. All the dolls come with these little magazines, which is apparently standard when you buy like a K-pop album, you get this little book that comes with the album. Uh, so again, love that attention to detail. It is a full color, multi-page little booklet. Now all the pictures and lyrics are the same except for a two-page spread that is unique to each doll. So this is Tessa's spread. Um, it's got the lyrics to the song that we have yet to hear in the animated series. I really would like to hear this song. P.S. Um, but it's really cute. It looks like it has a stitched binding, so that's nice. And I like how on the back it has as if they signed it. They also all come with a little fan t-shirt. This is Tessa's. 
and you can see it says Royal Three with like a silhouette outline of the dolls. Again, I like this concept, it's really cute. And then her second outfit includes this like iridescent little top that Velcro's in the back. And there's this piece, which seems to be partially inspired by a traditional Korean dress that I came across in my research for my Lila Yamamoto video. It has a dragon printed on it. I just kind of I think it's really interesting. This extra layer here. Then she has these pants. Um, mine have a little stain on them. I have no idea what this is from. We've got a little silver chain detail. We've got belt loops that Velcro's in the back. And again, it's this lavendery color mixed with this denim. And then underneath that is a little pair of kind of black boxer shorts with this printing on the waistband. So a really interesting multi-level outfit here. And then this is her second pair of shoes. I don't think we've seen anything exactly like this before in the rainbow highline, so that's nice. Next we have Tiara, or maybe Tiara. I'm gonna go with Tiara. So she has two head pieces. First, she has her little Tiara, which is silver metallic colored, and it, she wears it like a headband. And then she has her microphone headset, which actually goes around the back of her head. It's got some really pretty kind of like pearl embellishment detail and it's black and gold. Her hair is a very similar color to Tessa's. Now I like her outfit overall, but there's a lot of, I'm gonna assume it's manufacturer defect. So first we've got this little cropped kind of bolero jacket, metallic thread. It's very pretty and it's partially lined. Under that is this dress. This looks like two separate pieces. It's actually one piece. So the top looks like a bustier with some little gemstone embellishment. And I don't know if you can see, but we are missing some random stones. And then the skirt part has pockets, which is cute. Um, and then it has this gemstone embellishment, but you can see we're missing quite a few stones here and here and also down here. The top, I just wanted to point out, is like this kind of sheer iridescent material in the center and then the satiny material in the bust part and the skirt. But I love her boots. These are a faux leather material over the knee boots with this little silver chain detail around the ankle. Um, I love them. They're, I, they're so pretty. I love these boots. Tiara's nails are quite long, which is awesome. And she also has a different hand sculpt. She's got several rings, uh, but they are different on both hands and different than Tessa's. So that's really cool. Uh, she also has some little bracelets on her one wrist. And then she also has this necklace. It's kind of a choker style, but it's got this interesting detail where We've got the two chains and then a little tiny pendant. And again, her hair not too bad coming out of the packaging. So that's good too. Meanwhile, just a quick look. This is her two page spread in her little booklet. Here is her fan t-shirt. It is white. And then it says RH Royal. And I think the word three is under. It's really small, but this is cute. Now her second outfit is very interesting. Um, I did not take it off of the little plastic mannequin yet because I wanted to do it on camera. So we have a belt, this plastic belt it has printing on it. it, says Rainbow Magic Sparkle. If we remove the belt, we can get into these pieces. So the belt is looped onto the back of the top layer through the belt loops in the back. So we have half of a jacket and it is completely separate piece than the top. And that's really cool. I thought it was gonna be somehow attached to the top, but it is not. I love this. This is, it's just really unique in a doll. 
So we've got this pinstripe detail, but it's like only half of a blazer or a suit jacket. And then this kind of gem encrusted thing going on on the sleeve. And then the rest of the outfit is pretty simple. So we have an white iridescent skirt, a little faux zipper detail in the front. We've got some belt loops, Velcros in the back. And then the top is actually a bodysuit with kind of a mock turtleneck, very pale, icy lavender color and it Velcros in the back. Finally, her shoes, kind of simple, very thin kind of stiletto heels with this interesting chain detail in the front. I don't think we've seen anything quite like them yet in the line. And then finally, we have Minnie, who is another pink girl, although her clothing has more of a lavender undertone, like a like a pinky hued lavender. Let's just take a second to compare her to some other pink girls released from Rainbow High. These are the ladies who are closest to Minnie in color scheme. And you can see they are all different shades of pink and they have all different face molds and different skin tones. Yeah, Bella and Minnie have a similar skin tone, but it is different. They all have very different face paint details as well. I love Minnie's eyebrows. They're just raised a little bit more. And here's just a look from the back. It's pretty obvious there is a distinct color difference. Bella is this pale pastel pink. Uh, Brianna is more of a bubblegum pink. And here we have Minnie in the middle. And yes, her pink has a, in my opinion, like a lavender undertone. Uh, and her hair isn't actually too bad coming out of the packaging, considering. Taking a closer look at Minnie, you can see her headset microphone is attached to her little pink headband, which has RH on the side. It is pink and silver. The mic piece is a little heart. Her eye makeup is so pretty. I love her eyebrow shape, which reminds me that I forgot to point out how different Tessa's eyebrows are from any previous Rainbow High doll that I am aware of. So Minnie is wearing like a little jacket that is a mix of faux leather and then this almost like sweatshirt material as well as this quilted material here uh, with a lot of embellishment, including these tassels in the front. Underneath that is a little simple crop top that is also embellished with pearl detail and it is a faux leather material. And then she has on a faux leather material skirt. Actually, the pleating material here is more of a nylon fabric. Uh, we've got faux zipper details. It's three separate pieces, the skirt and the top Velcro in the back. And then another pair of boots that I love really cool. She's got a thick soled faux leather fabric material boot and you can see these clasp detail. It is a plastic detail sewn into the fabric, painted silver, just like this little crest in the front of her boot. Again, we have an interesting hand sculpt. She has longer nails that are very detailed in her manicure and she's got different sculpted rings. One has a tiny little gemstone. Here's her other hand. I love her manicure. Here is her two page spread in her little magazine. Actually, I just noticed the covers are all different as well. The center character changes depending on which one is featured in the little magazine. Here is Minnie's fan t-shirt and it is almost exactly the same as Tiara's except, oh, it looks like they have slightly different poses in the two t-shirts, so that's cute. Now her second outfit includes these little black pleather gloves. I've seen some people have problems getting these on her hands, so I'll see if I'll be able to. And then she has a two-piece outfit, a matching skirt and top. And the top has this see-through detail in the bust line. Again, a lot of little pearl embellishment that easily falls off. This one's about to fall off. I don't like the 
little netting detail that's sewn on. This was in another doll recently and I didn't like it in her outfit either. I want to say it was one of the series three dolls. It just feels really tacked on and look here's another little faux pearl that's falling off. The base of the shirt is like a cottony material but then the sleeves are kind of a satiny material and that is repeated in the skirt where we've got the satiny and then the cottony. It's actually very soft like a brush cotton. Again this kind of tacked on netting thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. And a lot of pearl embellishment. I like the concept of the pearl embellishment. It's just that they fall off so easily. I don't love it. I'm gonna say it. Don't love this outfit. But I do really like the shoes. So she has some kind of faux leather socks paired with these little strappy heels silver painted buckle details, and then this pretty flower print along the soles of the shoe along the heels. They're cute. So I have washed and let their hair dry overnight and changed them into their second outfits. A couple things I quickly wanted to note. Tiara's mic headset have two little pegs that fit snugly into her ear piercing holes and that's how the headset remains positioned around the back of her head and I really wish they were all like that. These are Minnie's gloves. I could not fit them on her hands. They wouldn't go past the way her fingers were positioned and the length of her nails. So not really a usable accessory on her. I really like Tessa and Tiara's second outfit. I think Minnie's outfit looks better on her than it did when it was just in the packaging, but I still don't love it. I much prefer her first outfit. But I think my favorites are Tessa's outfits, both her first and her second outfit. All in all, the dolls are really cute. I like the idea of them coming with the little booklets and the fan t-shirts to really have that K-pop inspiration. Um, I do wish they all had the same type of headset microphone that Tiara has. I much prefer that one to the headband. But all in all, I really like these dolls. I like their face sculpts. I do like their coloring. I know people think the pink in particular is very repetitive. I do wish Tiara and Tessa's hair was more distinctly different from each other. Because on camera, I think they even read the same. Of all the Rainbow Vision dolls released so far, I think my favorite is still Neon Shadow, but these ladies are lovely. Let me know what you think by commenting below.